Hey, this is Matt, and this is Zach, and <laughs> it's this one. And uh, we're going to do a reaction video to uh, Wes Watson. First off, fuck the motherfucking fuck. One of my favorite characters on... <laughs> character is such a perfect term for I this mean, guy. <laughs> Yeah, th it, cartoon uh, character is probably yeah, what it he's, is. He's, salt, he's something else. <laughs> yes, um, they need to do a cartoon character about him. Bro, he, they would, right? That would be. He's the perfect yes. prison white guy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like, like, just, just, look, just, just watching Wes Watson gives me anxiety. Yeah. And I love that he makes he makes fun of he makes fun of basically got me. He make he's making fun of an inmate like me walking in, going, "The fuck is going on? Like, what's going on?" And it, 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 he, it, I don't even look. <laughs> well, listen, listen. This is this is the definition of over the top. Yeah. Oh, he's, right. He's so over the top. So but this is also state prison. Yes. Yes. And and o over the top, I guess, could sell because I'm really like watching him. I'm kind of like, whoa, Ooh. wow. Yeah. Like, there's no way he could maintain that intensity a hundred. Uh, you know, like all attack. day long. You'd have to yes. have a fucking heart yes. attack. Yes. Uh, so oh, the, yeah. The, yeah. yeah. The, uh, yeah. I hit the fucking yard. And when I hit the yard, I had I had that fucking, my fucking paperwork hooped. I traveled with my passport. I went straight up to the fucking, I went straight up to the shot caller. And I said, I'm a soldier. I'm waiting for you. I'm here for you, baby. And he said, well, I want to see your paperwork, uh, Wes. I need to see that paperwork. And I said, I travel with my passport. And I go, and I walk into the fucking, uh, I walk into the, the, to the bathroom and I fucking hoop that shit and I wash it off and I pull it out of the plastic and I give it to the guy and he says, you're solid, Wes. Like, I, I fucking am so over the top, the anxiety and the stress. Like, who would live like this? <laughs> you know, and this is state, like, this is like, I love it when guys in the comment section always are, are say, they say, like, oh, bro, you couldn't go to a fucking state prison. Uh, you'd get fucked up. Like, motherfucker, I don't, I don't commit state crimes. I don't steal old ladies' purses, and I don't fucking do that stupid shit, and I don't beat people up, and I don't kick in anybody's doors, and I don't fucking do... Like, I, I want to say I don't rob banks, but even that's federal. Like, I don't rob 7-Elevens. <laughs> you know, it's pathetic. And then you end up going to a state prison, and who do you have to deal with? That, that guy. Hurts. <laughs> Bro. And this is my worst nightmare. Yes. Like, I won't end up in a state prison, because like, he even talks about, at one point he talks about, he talks about knocking some drunk guy out and the guy like falls down and gets killed and you end up in the state prison. Like, and he's like, I mean, like, who hasn't knocked out a, a, a drunk guy? Me. I've never <laughs> mocked. I'm sorry. At no point in, do I ever think, you know, knock this dude out. Like, I'm going to walk away. Like, what do I give a shit? He's drunk. He mouthed off. They're leaving. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not that guy. Uh, well, he, he lives in a different um, realm. Right. <laughs> and, and people are like, of you know, reality. And this is the thing too, like, like, you're not even going to be my neighbor. Like, I don't have to worry. Oh, well, you jump, uh, you bump into a guy like that on the street. Like, guys like this don't stay on the street long. No. And they don't live in my neighborhood. No. So I don't have to worry about well, it. Well, that, that But he's amazing. Be, that, that can't be his real Bro, character. Bro, how could you go go through life like this? No, nah, that, that's not his. That's his um, either. And, and if he did that in prison, you like, as soon as he left, like, he could talk. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he left, people would look at each other and go. Are you fucking, yeah. Like, what the like, fuck is that? Yeah, I can't have this guy, right? Like, this guy's going to get all of us killed. Yeah, that's right. He's the kind of guy that, that on the street, like, starts fights, and somebody pulls a gun out, and then he doesn't get shot. He gets you shot. Yes, yes. So Unbelievable. Dude, but he's hilarious, though. Yes. He is hilarious you, in a you have stressed to see the, out kind that, of way. And that's what we're here to point out is the, the humor that may not immediately stem, stand yeah. out to you guys because you're more in shock like what the hell is this i i do love when he does the the but about the guys coming in saying like but wes what if i have anxiety what if i suffer from insomnia you better fucking lose that, that shit, shit motherfucker. Yeah. Like, you better lose that shit jesus the stress okay all right let's let's let them see some of it so they can they know what we're talking shit, about bro. and i'm gonna start with my favorite paperwork with the paperwork, you know how I roll with it. You know how I roll with my paperwork. I got that shit hooped. I don't give a fuck. So guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Paperwork check. Paperwork check. We're fucking checking paperwork today. I'm 
and we're going to call out to you. We're going to tell you, homeboy, shoot your paperwork. Your paperwork when you roll in the shoe is going to be your 114. It's a lockup order. It tells you why you're back there. And a piece of shit motherfucker ain't going to produce that because it's going to say on his paperwork, I'm a piece of shit. Non adverse means I didn't yeah. come because I was a fucking bitch ass PC. These motherfuckers are getting whacked. You know they're getting whacked. That means stabbed. It's also known as fucking getting booked. When I say the word getting booked, it means you're getting stabbed. It don't mean you're going to the fucking library and getting some more goddamn books, okay? It means you're getting fucking stabbed. Tank comes on here telling me about hard ass stories about it used to be hard. All I'm thinking is why aren't you anymore, homeboy? What happened? Like, so you believe. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, that's a demonstration. The, the veins on this dude are just. Yes. I mean, and 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 it's it's bad, right? He, you know, and, and so pa so paperwork. Paperwork is typically like in in the state prison. Well, I'm sorry, in federal prison. I don't know about state. In federal prison, the paperwork he's talking about that it, it's your it's your pre sentence report. Like it, typically, you get in, they want to see your pre sentence report. Well, they want to know if you if you snitched, right? Right. But in feds, there's a reward for snitching, whereas yeah. in state there isn't. So in state, you just snitch because you're whatever. Right. You know, they're, they're don't, they don't even offer you a reward. They don't send you to any different custody. They don't have anything lined up or set up. You just, you just right. snitch which because. Is why, which is why California State Prison is just massive. Like yes. there's tons of incarceration. Oh, my God. And, and it's almost, it, it's what, 80% probably violent crime. Yes. Like these guys are just violent. Like he apparently, and I don't know, I might be wrong, but I, I, what I heard was that somebody owed like a debt to him and he basically almost beat the guy to death. Like, nice. and, and he got like, and he got like, he did like 10 years or something. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. I mean, just brutal. And I wish I'm sure there's, I'm sure his, his whole, I'm sure his whole uh, life is riddled with, with different types of incarceration. But, <laughs> uh, but you know, yeah, the, in, the intensity that this the guy. The intensity is over. Is is a ten? This is a guy that guy would drink a Red Bull and and die. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, some, he's uh, but okay, so yeah, so like the paperwork he's talking about, like it's you know, just it, saying that basically that you're not a coward, that that you when well, you go talking, to the this, shoe, that one I think he's talking about the shoe. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to lockdown, you went to lockdown because you hurt somebody and not just because you're scared. Yeah, not because you're scared to be on the on the uh, or somebody threatened population. you or something. So he's letting them know, hey, listen, That's when I go to the shoe or I get transferred off a yard, it's not because I'm a coward or I, yeah. I did something. It's because I sure. fucking Was did it? something. Not a, a bitch, a bi not a coward, a bitch. Oh, so a bitch. Anyway, my fault. My fault. So the other thing about him is. Um, I can't even look at the dude. He's fucking like he's. This is my worst fucking nightmare. This it's, guy would be my worst nightmare in any situation. Would be. If is, he lived is. next door, like I'd look. I would wait till he left. Like I mean, I, he's just he, he's just the intensity and just the, the pure fucking aggression is outrageous. But so in the feds though, paperwork in the feds, like paperwork in the feds that your PSI that you you know like they don't let you get it. Like right. you have to mail it. You can get it mailed in. Right. But the secretary, when you get stuff mailed in, they look through. Your documents to make to, sure it's not the PSI. to make sure it's not your PSI. But if you continue to get it mailed in, like you can get it mailed in, you can put it in different things. Like there's ways to filter it in, and and that's basically what it's saying, so that you know you didn't snitch on anybody or whatever. But most places, well, a lot of places, like they just they'll accept either your word. They'll have somebody on the street look you up, you know. And in, in the end, they almost never, very seldomly, do they necessarily find out that you did cooperate. And in fact, you had told me about the one guy. Was it you that told me about the guy that the judge actually had scout had told them to clean it, clean his paperwork yes. so that he could be sent into prison with clean paperwork with a clean PSI? Well, yeah, I told you a guy was telling me that he didn't get time off for some snitching that he did. Right. So he goes, I have all the paperwork to prove it. So when he gave me the paperwork, I read through the sentencing transcript. And I'm like, dude, it doesn't say anything. There's nothing in here about you cooperating. He goes, oh, yeah. He said the judge told them to strike all of those conversations from the, the stricken all that from the record. Nice. And so I'm reading it going, oh, my mm -hmm. God, you could go anywhere. Yeah. And you look like you're absolutely 100. So then I said to myself, I'm like, then that means anybody could have told. Yeah. And, 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 the and their paperwork would, would be perfect. Right. So I go only... People who tell would have such clean paperwork. People who didn't tell or people who 
maybe tried to help themselves because they were mildly retarded or they got a reduction for something else, what their paperwork would look dirtier than yours. It's like it's it's a scary process. Um, well, I was gonna say, and, and plus, I mean, we talked about this where I talked. We talked about like the the people in in prison that I actually changed their paperwork in prison. Yes. They came to me and were like, "Bro, can you change this dude's paperwork?" And there were other guys I met, uh, and this this guy reminds me of this one guy named Ellis Cook, where Cook actually was supposed to get like a hundred and a hundred and seventy eight months, and he actually asked them to give him a hundred and eighty months because that way. He could show his paperwork, his judgment and commitment, and he could show I pled guilty to this charge and he could tell people I got 180 months. That's the minimum mandatory for being for a career criminal with a firearm at his level. Well, really, it wasn't. It was like 30 years to life. Right. But people don't know that. They don't know how many times he's been arrested. So he's like, look, I can't get my PSI in because my mom's dead. My, my, my aunt's dead. Like everybody in his family, there's nobody to send it in. My lawyer has tried to send it in. The, the secretary caught it. So he's like, but I do have my judgment commitment, and I got 180 months. If I cooperated, I, would have, I wouldn't have the minimum mandatory of 180. Right. And people look at it and go, yeah, his charge is career criminal in possession of a fire alarm. And the minimum mandatory is 180 exactly. So they thought, yeah, it's got to be true. So great. He's perfect. He right. can go anywhere. Right. But I knew better. Right. <laughs> so anyway, but I, I have no doubt that Wes Watson didn't tell on anybody because Wes Watson scares the shit out of me. So I'm not. I can't <laughs> he ain't scared of nobody. He got to no, tell. I'm not He'll do joke. his fucking time. Oh God, bro. But these are hilarious. Hold on here. So I'm going to play now. Okay. Believed in that shit then and now you don't now. So now you just admit you're a bitch by default. Step your motherfucking game up, and he fucking fires on me. Pah, he just fucking hits me in my motherfucking face. I back up like two steps, and I'm like, oh, you dumb motherfucker. I would draw you in. And then, boom! i just fucking just, I'd get off on you. After I got in that fight with Bam Bam, one of my neighbors rolled up. He was an OG Muslim named Matt. How many Bam Bams have you known? A lot of Bam Bams. Excuse me, Wes. I'm like, what's up, big dog? How you doing? He's like, I would just like to congratulate you on your hands. Just, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. just had no choice. He was going to get down or he was going to get the shit beat out of him. And that's how the fuck it is. I don't care if you're 55 or you have one leg or it's your first time and you're 18. If you come in and you don't listen to your people, you're fucked. That's how it works. People always try to be like, I'm going to roll on my own. Watch me. I do MMA. I'm a bad motherfucker. Fuck you ain't gonna do none of that shit. These fools were hoping that they gave me all day saying, don't let him out. If you let him out, he's gonna kill us. Me, hey Wes, you tell good stories. I say it's hard to fuck up your story. Fuck all the bullshit. I can only talk about what happened to me. It kind of frustrates me when people say, hey, talk about 6ix9ine, Wes. I don't know 6ix9ine. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I don't. I don't. I don't know about it. Now that same day, I actually got, I arm wrestled one of the biggest homies you ever seen, this full de uh, Negro from Southeast Dago, and everybody was surrounded around the cages. They were like, twist him up, Negro, twist him up. And I sit down, and we're on the bench, and bam! And he binks that motherfucker off the cop's head, dink, just, and fools were just getting teed off, just dink. So in the penitentiary, my fucking morning program was always the same. I wake the fuck up, I go take a shit right away. People always ask me, hey Wes, why don't you bring your boys on the show? Why don't you bring fools you did time with on the show? They don't get out. None of them stay out for more than 20 minutes. And the ones that do are usually spun to their fucking gills. And you couldn't even get them to sit down for 20 fucking minutes anyways. So that's the fucking reason. God, what a life he leads. Fucking bro, it's so... You know, here's the thing though. Like, okay, so when he's not doing this. First of all, you know, when I went to... This was funny because like before Big Herc and I got into it, when I actually went there and I was like, yeah, bro. I said, you interviewed, uh, I, I said, I saw you interviewed. I said, Wes Watson. I said, bro. I said, that dude I said, he that dude's my worst nightmare, bro. I said, like, he's so, I said, over the top intense. And he looked at me and he goes, yeah, bro. He said, yeah, it, like, obviously there's a rift. There's an issue with the two of them because oh. he looked at me and he goes, yeah, he, it ain't all that. He said, like a lot of what he's saying is just, he is, it's all hype. He said, trust me. He said, it's, 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 he is, you know what? He said, I, I'm not even going to talk about it. He said, but <laughs> like, 
because I could tell. And I, he had said something during a phone conversation where he had mentioned, like, I put, yeah, yeah, guys get out of prison. Like, I put them on the game, and then they, they take off and do their own shit, and then they won't even return calls or nothing. And I remember, like, he's like one of the few guys that went off and started his own channel. So there's an issue between him but him and, and Big Herc. So, but when I talked, when I mentioned him to him, yeah, he, uh, he, but he was like, oh, it's all hype. Like, I'll bet you when he drops this bullshit, this fucking act, if it's an act, like, God, I hope it's an act just for society in general. <laughs> well, um, just for his heart. <laughs> right. Like, he's probably all right. You think? He's probably okay. Like, if, if, it, if this is okay, because every once in a while, you notice he'll calm down for a second. And he seems semi okay. Like maybe he's he probably could be a cool guy if it's an act. If not, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let's see what else old West has to say. Cause you know what his his whole thing is. What his whole mean? his whole thing is he's like a motivational speaker. You gotta watch some of his other videos. Well, this this is a, the greatest hits clip. So it's just going but from video to video. Right, and, and right. typically he'll like he'll, over the same story. I guess he's telling the same story because he's talking about bing. So he's saying he, he fought somebody and maybe he hit his head against a rail. Yes, yeah, somebody so, like somebody put this together. This right. isn't his channel. This is somebody else's channel. That's why I picked oh. this because I, I, I'm pretty sure this, the YouTube algorithm won't catch. They won't say anything. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So um, like Wes's channel, he'll basically, he does like little five and 10 minute pep talks. It's not at a the, bad, yeah, that's it's right not at bad. The end. Yeah, it's not bad. He's basically saying stay out of prison. Do the, he, he do the right thing? Yeah, he does. But it's the same kind of like, look, bro, like, you know, you're calling, you're making fun of people. You're calling them bitches. You're, 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 you're talking right. about beating people's asses. You're talking about, like, you're, you're just talking For nothing. About, you're talking about beating their asses for nothing. Yeah, for nothing. You're a 55 year old man. Right. Or he doesn't give a shit if you have one. Like, like he's, a, it's, it's like a horrible individual. Yeah. But, and then he tries to twist it into having Something like positive. A, a positive. The guy's got like three or four hundred thousand subscribers. I think he might have half a million now. For all I know, I don't. I haven't checked it lately because I can't get through a video. It's traumatizing. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna keep going. You want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. He's out here, and they're trying to do good. They don't want to fucking go on YouTube, and it's all good. Like Wes isn't even happy. He's not chill. He has no chill in him. But Wes, it's Sunday. Aren't you supposed to chill and take the day off? <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> Vision so motherfucking strong, the work is irrelevant. But it's hard. The fuck? The fuck did you say? This is why I'm <laughs> like this. The pain from living like that for so long eats you the fuck up. It makes you on perma-fucking pumped-up mode. Like, I can't even chill the fuck out. Why do you think I put on my Instagram me getting up all early all the time? Do you think I'm comfortable? I haven't been comfortable in 10 fucking years. Whether you bitch the fuck out or not, you could be as ripped as you want and as rich as you want off everything you have today if you quit fucking taking them breaks. Oh, I've, I've been going straight for seven whole days, so I need a vacation. I've been going straight for the last seven months, saving money and doing my shit. I need a day off. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck that shit. Fuck all that shit. A real common thing, a real common thing they'll ask me is they'll say, Hey, hey Wes, uh, you say you never take a day off, but do you get sick? And I'm like, no, I don't fucking believe in getting sick. I don't even participate in that shit. Hey, Wes, what books did you read to attain that level of mental strength? Motherfucker! It ain't a goddamn book. <laughs> but, but, Wes, why even on Sunday? You can't have one day <laughs> Try off, not to not laugh. One, 2.45 on Sunday? Why? Motherfucker, I ain't trying to get softer. And this is where everyone fucks up. The second they fuck up and they stay up too late, then they go right over to the gay ass book and they're like, well, science said you need more sleep, motherfucker. Science said you're a bitch. I really got a lot of negativity in my life. People I don't even know were saying stuff about me. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Want to know what negativity is? When they tell you the second them doors crack, it's going up. The second them doors crack, we're kicking it off. The second them doors crack, we're going to fucking war. People are gonna fucking die, okay?
That's negativity. Sounds fucking <laughs> sick to you? Don't go to fucking prison then. Last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing. Fuck the motherfucking food. <laughs> okay, stop. All right. Hey, so you're right. He's not like that all the time. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to do those voices. People who aren't animated and creative can't do two different like style, two different voices. They can't do it. It's just they, 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 that takes creativity, bro. West. Right. And you're right. He was trying to laugh. He was but trying West, not to laugh. It's like why it's, you it's, it's, it's got to be an act. Right? It is, it's it's, it's it got to be an act. I'm glad we talked about this because I feel I feel a little bit better. Oh yeah, yeah. He he's probably <laughs> completely chill. He he wouldn't go on someone's show unless you know he, he, he went was on chill Big Herc's show and he wasn't like this. He wasn't. He wasn't like nearly as he was intense, but he wasn't this insane. Look, here's another one. Wes, how's the food? How'd you get so big on prison fucking food? First off, fuck the motherfucking food. <laughs> I remember this fool, man. He died. Rest in peace. His name was Evil. Sounds fucking sick to you? Don't go to fucking prison then. Uh, he's covering up his face. Oh. He's like, oh, okay, okay, I'm good. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna uncover your face, bitch. I'm gonna move your fucking hands, bitch. And he moves his hands, and I just start gout, just digging two fingers in his eye, like as deep as I could. Just, oh, motherfucker, what? No fucking meds taken. Uh, look, no, no I've meds. I've had people write me, and they say, well, what if I have this, and what if I have that, and what if I have this, what if I have insomnia, what if I, I get claustrophobic? Motherfucker, you better drop all that shit. That shit don't exist in there. Oh. Bro. I don't even know what to say. Like, like it, 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 it's, it's the, it's the, the stressful. It, it's, bro. It, it's you can't survive like that. You can't well, he, behave like he, that. He is preaching mind over matter. Like, like I'm not with all the excuses. You, you're gonna get get over that shit. Like, it's time to go down. It's time to do this bullshit. That's what he's preaching. Get, get with the program, and fuck. Food, man. <laughs> I don't. Well, that's a long one. A lot of them yeah. are five minutes, eleven minutes, t seven minutes. So they're a little motivational, but it, the 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 level of stress and anxiety and it is just overwhelming. Right. He, like I said, he's just mind over. He's just saying mind over matter, right? But he's giving these funny ass stories and intense rage. But it's mind over matter. I promise you, he's not like that all the time. You, he's probably not your worst nightmare. He'd probably be your best guess. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, when when do I get to be over the top? When do I get to be over the top? Because believe it or not. I can't be in a room with this guy. Believe it or not, you have those moments too, sir. What, what when I get oh, intense? Yeah, when you this get. This is very, very, it's, there's very few. It, 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 it's not, this is insane. This guy's nuts. This is insanity. Where are you at right now? I mean. Where are you at on the animation? It's fleeting and it's at a level four to his 11. Okay. Not even but, 10. He's but I'm on just, 11. I'm, all right. All right. So I'm but sure he has. that motherfucker. He <laughs> stuck that fucking shit in. You know, I just, I just, I can't, bro. I just, the stress. I, I, Listen, that, that's what sells. That's what sells. Yeah, I could, I couldn't interview this guy. I would, first of all, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be on this channel. He couldn't be. Couldn't be on he the probably, channel. He probably couldn't. He, he but couldn't. I mean, you know, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. you know, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to be around a guy like me. No. no. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's he's something else. So I mean, he, I don't know. maybe he'll go on with Josh. He could go on with Josh. We could get him in here with Josh. Yes. We could get him, have him sit and tell his own story by himself. Like I can't be with this guy, be around this guy. I mean, I, you know, I'll I'll do it. I'll do the interview. Like. Uh, all right. Yeah. So I, I, I don't even think this was a good, this was a good reaction because there's just nothing. The guy's just, it's just insanity. So uh, if you guys have any ideas on who I should uh, or who Zach and I should react to, uh, we have what Bandman Kivo or Band. Why can't I say that? Bandman, like band, like a band. Bandman of, Kivo. Bandman Kivo. So we're supposed to do. I, I mean, I will probably do one of those, and, and we're gonna do a bunch of other ones. This is Wes Watson. I don't even think it was a good. I, and there's nothing to react to. Fuck that shit. So, all right. So that's it. So let me know if there's anybody else you want to see me react to or us react to. Uh, leave a leave a leave a comment in the comments and let me know. And that's uh, all right. That's it. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. Share the video. Leave a comment. Do the right thing. Uh,
I don't, I was gonna, you know. You should have did that like uh, he would. Hit the fucking oh, light I, button. He's, 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 I'll, bet, I'll bet he never does that. I wonder if he ever does. I'll bet well, you. Well, go to the end. I can't. He doesn't do it. Some people do it at the beginning, they do it at the end. He, he can't possibly, he wouldn't possibly demean himself. Hold our on. best so that we can do what? We can do what? Give our best self to the motherfucking world. Love you guys. Let's go. Jesus. So. Uh, he's got 390,000 subscribers. This is insanity. He's motivational. I'm going to subscribe. I'm going to talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See ya. Later.